Well, here we go again. This is Philemon. Welcome to another episode of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. We just got back from our journey on the XS Express that was not nearly as calm, I think is a good word for it. Or, uh, passive, maybe. It's another word that I could be using for what the experience was not on that train. Also, realizing that I'm being silly. I should not be going to the Thousand Year Door immediately. I have something far more important that I need to be grabbing right now. <laughs> Uh, this chest. How this chest has vexed me going for, or er, previously on this specific challenge. It could have made my life so much easier. But now we get mad, we get folded, and we make that chest a reality. Mm. Ultra Hammer! Let's get it. Hi! It's me again, Toadette! Nice to see you again! Way to find the Ultra Hammer! Now your hammer will be even more powerful! And you can also use a new hammer technique! That's an old hammer technique that you already knew how to do, but now it's stronger! Uh, let's practice it right away! It's just like with the Super Hammer, so no problem! Uh, hold down B and rotate the stick until your body gets twisty. I mean, so... How is this a new hammer technique? This is an old hammer technique. It's just ever so slightly di stronger. It's just stronger. There's no difference. Anyway. Uh, then release B to use your ultra hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Do the thing. There's the thing. Twist, release. Good to go. Hooray! Hey to go! You got it! Wanna try again? No. I've got it. Alright, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer! Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break box blocks made out of stuff like this! That'll be important. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too! Oh, I intend to. Well... Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. D definitely save the Princess Peach, okay? And be careful of on your quest, okay? <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I know no way of uh, interacting with Toadette again. Oh, we got an Ultra Hammer! Uh, I think that way makes up for the fact that she is no longer a character in this game. I... Yep. I got what I needed. <laughs> Alright, now to do some fun stuff now that we got it. Let's check out how much better we are at dealing with an armored enemy. One shot. Plain out one shot. Oh, come on. Was that really necessary, game? Was that so necessary? Damage my partner like that. <laughs> oh, it feels good. That feels good right there. Yeah. Oh, right. Must buy things. Must store and then... Er, yeah, must store and then buy things so that I can actually keep getting money. So... Don't exactly know what I use it for, but yeah. Ooh, flower saver P. Maybe badges. Yeah, badges would be a good purchase. Um, very important to remember that when using the high jump move, as I just demonstrated, that if there's no blocker in the way, you don't need to stand on the part of the uh, or, like, on the indicated area more often than not. You can just go to whichever section is closest to your next objective and go from there. Um, which is 
fairly useful. You know, it moving on the uh, pipe itself can be so slow. As I'm think I'm about to demonstrate. Well, no, let's go this way. Uh, okay. So yes, 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 yes. Gotta go up here. As you'll note that there's drips, and when there's drips, there's a pipe you can grab onto. Go there. Go here. Yeah. Okay. And then. Oh no! However, shall I reach? Hmm. I have no idea why that one's like that, but I want to imagine that it's that way to kind of put down speedrunning or getting it too early, where even if somehow you manage to get on the pipe, uh, you can't go any further. Uh, is this one? Am I crazy? Anything to be found on... Ew. Okay, I'm just losing it. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, well, I'll be over in that section again relatively soon, so no need to try finding everything immediately. Just move on. Do, do, do. All right. And two things to grab in this area because that chest is now accessible. But how could it possibly be accessible? Well, the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that there was a crack on the other side of the wall, which corresponds to here. So even though you can't see the crack here, it's there. Perfect. Defend plus P. Okay. Not bad, not bad, but uh, I don't really see as you see. All right, and then we got to go all the way across. Because when we picked up the shine sprite on the boat panel, there was also this fun little pipe that we couldn't get to. Or travel pipe, not hanging pipe that I'm using. So now we can get into this house. This rather boring house, all things considered, because as far as I know, the only thing in here is that star piece. And unfortunately, because this is the last solid ground that Mario stood on, if we were to fall in the water, we would just get warped back to this platform. So I know of no other way to get back to the other side than to just take this me this mess. Because honestly, it would go quite a bit faster if we could just jump off from one of the nearby platforms onto that one and take the pipe, but I don't know of a way of doing that safely. Ooh. And I just remembered another place that we can go shine sprite hunting. Time to get my vengeance. I mean, it's pretty pitiful vengeance, but vengeance? I claim vengeance. And the best part about having to come back later is that more likely than not, all of the enemies have respawned. Yay. Can't you just hear the joy in my voice? But, with any luck, if I've been keeping an accurate count as we've been going through... Oh, jeez, there they are. And I have to stop to do the animation of the jump, so I don't know... Yeah. Oh, there it is. I can't avoid these fights. Ow. Oops. Um... What is the best way to deal with you? Really just spend... Okay. 
If I'd gotten the first hit, it would have absolutely just take them out in other ways, but I obviously missed that, so here we are. Now to try and get as many first strikes on the other ones as possible. Oh, really? Uh, well, Shell Toss in its current state is worth 3 FP, so I'll just keep doing the Quake Hammer. Why? Why do these not have to give experience anymore? I can't even get money from them because I forgot to go shopping again. Ah! This shine sprite. This shine sprite. Why? Why did it have to be this one? <sighs> Just pointless. Why am I even here? Just powering up partners that I'm probably never even going to use in battle anyway, so... What good does it do me to... Give them extra strength in battle. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Take your victory lap while you can, you fool. You won't be around long enough to enjoy it. It'll all be over soon. Get back to the regularly scheduled playthrough. Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah, these need to be destroyed very quickly. It's a fifth of my health that that thing can do. Way stronger than any of them, and as I've said many times in the past, uh, having, uh, the, or having an enemy use an item he is far more powerful because I have yet to determine if you can block or dodge an item. My strong belief is that you cannot when an enemy uses it, so it is guaranteed to have its effect on you, which sucks. Especially when it's a super strong enemy or a super annoying item. Uh, I easiest example is something like a dizzy dial that gets used against you by one of the wizards. That sucks in a big way. Although, thinking about it, there is a badge. Ah, okay, good. It caught me before I could accidentally actually jump on him. Um... Yeah, there, uh, there is a badge that I'll probably try and equip that I will be getting in this next episode uh, that prevents you from getting most any of the status ailments. Yeah, 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 now you make yourself a lot. Why? Um... just feels like such a waste. Such a waste. Yep, that wasn't the real one. <sighs> if I even bother, it's not the real one. I will admit that this is clever, that the attacks come from all of the clones at the same time so that it can help obscure which one is real from the player makes it a little annoying in times when it's animation heavy when they do their attack, like the wizards that I was mentioning before do the same trick where, ah, no money. Um, they have uh, many bits of moving sprite on the screen at the same time, so when they make the copies of themselves, it can be pretty hard on the hardware. Um, so when they do their multi-attack animation, it can be super slow. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to go this way. Do I wanna, yeah, I want to go this way. Because that should basically be all of the stuff that I wanted to do in the underground, so we can head over to the door now.
get up here. Swap out to the new partner. Even, again... Where were you? What did you do that whole time? What? What? Uh... Huh! I guess I missed that one. See, that... I mean, it is kind of nice that she can do that for you. But, uh... Yeah, you really don't do much. Anyway. It's star time. Wee woo, wee woo. And here it comes. The sixth time, er, no. This is actually the seventh time we've seen it this animation because it did it before we had a crystal star too. We still gotta watch it one more time. Or no, 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 no. Last one is different. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess it's time to go rescue Peach. Good thing we don't have to actually collect that last crystal star because we'll absolutely find her there, right? Yeah, right? My, my, what's this now? The last crystal star? It can't possibly be there. Hmm. 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 If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. The moon? Isn't the princess trapped there too? Something about this doesn't seem right. Huh. The problem here is how does one get to the moon? I a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. It shouldn't take long. Uh. Looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a little bit, all right? Okay, gonna take some time. Are you done yet? You're a little too soon, you whippersnapper! I'm still looking into this, so come back later! Um... I forget exactly how far away I need to go. Uh, also... Got it? Uh, how many do I have? Perfect! I have the perfect amount of Shine Sprites because I know that there's two on the way to our next destination. Haha! -ha. Success! Uh, let's go shopping. I think I need to go one more screen transition away before coming back. I think we actually had to exit the Frankly screen. So, let's go get some badges! I can actually get money again! This game tops out. Heck, there's a part of me that just wants to exchange all of them for Piantas so I can get the happy heart and the happy flower badges. If I don't already have them. Or, no, am I supposed to get those from the guy in the underground? And then it's money, money. Oh, I don't even have access to those because I haven't been doing the membership card uh, quests. So never mind. Uh, that side rant was completely pointless. Uh, no need to do any of that. Because it would not help me. Uh, and I was just taking a look to make sure that I'm not... Uh, Zap Tap is tempting. Ooh, lucky start. I want that back. So we'll save... We'll do one more round of level up before grabbing that. Uh, already have a head rattle. Uh, I'm buying others. D -d 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 Ice smash, fire smash, damage dodge. All pretty lucky key. Uh, that's tempting. Uh, ah, 
don't need to spend money anyway. I'll grab it. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a look. That's two, which would still put me in the realm of being able to put that on, or the one I w the other one I wanted on. Pretty lucky. Lucky start. Different. There's pretty lucky lucky day and lucky start. I think of the three qualifications of the quote unquote lucky badges. Um I yeah, I wanna go grab some life shrooms. We can go even a little bit further before going to talk to Frankly. I also have to store a bunch of stuff that I'm probably not going to be using at any point. Uh but I would like that back up. Okay. Like to store things. Yeah, that can go away. Uh eh. Got my whack of bumps, rune powder. Fuses. Oh, spite pouch, no way. Uh, I see I have a courage shell. Eh. Fire flower is not so great. Slow shroom, I'm definitely never going to be using. Uh, gradual syrup, I don't see myself using. I think overall it's only worth like 18, and this is worth 50. So really no point. Power punch could be interesting to try and use effectively. Uh, Ultra shroom, keep that. Fire flower. Oh, coconut, yeah, go away. Without combining you with the fire flower, you're of no use to you. Rune powder's okay. Earthquake. I basically am an earthquake at this point, so I don't see why I would need to have that in my inventory. Thunder Rage is amazing, and I will keep that. Uh, Thunder Bolt, though, I think can go away. Um, plain old mushroom, don't need you. And that's a good portion of my inventory cleared out. Okay. Uh, last thing to do is just check. Nope. Nope. Uh, I will buy two more. There we go. That's a nice amount of space opened up in my inventory. Or, not opened up in my inventory, but opened up in my wallet. I have more room in my wallet now. Ugh. I mean, it's better than Majora's Mask, where you've got to upgrade, uh, your wallet three times before you're even able to carry as many rupees as I have now in coins. Um, that was a bit ridiculous. Also, for if you've seen speedruns or like the 100% speedrun for Majora's Mask, that is insane how they managed to uh, get the uh, highest upgrade of wallet. It's crazy. Anyway. Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost, and you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you. Whoa, we're using a cannon to blast ourselves to the moon? Yeah! Extreme! I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I am not entirely sure of all the details. But I've seen plenty of pictures. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything anywhere. Even to the moon. This is going to be so cool. Just point the way. Where is this Far Outpost? Uh, I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath Rocor. But I'm not sure of the exact location. Uh, yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need to something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Hey, right on! We already got one of those! Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? 
We'll use that ultra hammer to find the pipe to far our post then. Get to it! Snap, snap! Yeah! You got it, prof! Fire outpost! Charge! Oh yes, one more thing! You should be aware of. The bob -ums who live there are a, sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. And by negotiate, I mean go on a stupid fetch quest where you try and find this one elderly guy who keeps running away from you. And you have to go all over the world to find him. All those inconsequential places. Only to find out that he's in his stinking bed. Good luck! In any case, that's your problem. Good luck! Get that last crystal star. Yeah, it's certainly my problem. <sighs> To be fair, the backtracking is not dangerous like it was in uh, the Creepy Steeple episode, uh, For Whom the Pig Tolls, but it is tedious as I'll get out. Anyway, uh, what do you got for me, Dad? <gasps> Heart Finder, fi Flower Finder. Yes, please. Yes, I want it. I would like another one, please. Those are two very powerful badges, especially for the Pit of 100 Trials uh, run that's going to be happening at some point. Um... Oh, right. Never get first striked. Eh, I'm okay with it. It's kind of interesting. Keeps me on my toes. I'm not about to do that um do i dare should i get this instead big part of me that wants to say just get this instead but i want it i want it too bad all right that's enough oh certainly we will be trading again someday i'm sure all right now to go to far outpost which is a pun. The name is a pun. I recognize that. Uh, it's a very old pun, really, but or at least by today's 2023 standards. Here we go. Sec the penultimate chapter. Chapter seven. Mario Shoots the Moon. Which is a callback to... I think it's an old book or an old movie about shooting the moon. Man, it's cold. Why didn't I pack a sweater? It is stupid cold out here. Come on, Gonzalez. Let's move. Far outpost should be just up ahead, I think. Oh. Why did I not think to pack a sweater? Okay, right. uh, now it's in one of these. Ah. Yeah. All right, maybe I was wrong. What I'm not wrong about is the fact that there's a giant spider behind that tree, which sucks. I kind of caught a glimpse of the corner of it, but this is probably, in my opinion, the second best hidden shine sprite in the game behind the one that's on the trail to Creepy Steeple, especially because I hate having to go back there. But yeah, that's... Oh no! Oh no, I must be punished. Oh, forgive me. Uh, uh -huh. Look at how much damage that does. I didn't push the button. I didn't do anything that would add to the damage of that attack, and... Oh no, that was not the move I wanted to use. Um, and I am just a complete failure right now. Uh, you should be fine, right? Right? Yeah, you got my health. Ow. Okay, let's find out about these things. Uh, 
That's an ice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if you touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? That's uh, pretty damn strong. Uh, they're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that, maybe. I mean, I could, but it's only got the one health left, so I'm not inclined to waste my firepower on it. But that's kind of a cue that uh, Vivian's normal attack is slightly more effective than the others, because uh, it does some fire. There we go. That's the button I wanted to push. I've let myself go too long without playing Mario. Alright, all of you come down. <laughs> Let's see how powerful this fire really is! Decent. Decent. Why? Why, game? Why? Why did you have to pull the clouds out? That was not necessary. Ugh. Make me switch to Bobbery. But at least I got one. Ah. Taking the player way out, huh? Healing yourself? Yeah, sadly, that still only did one damage. But it was enough damage for this to make it uh, go away. I thought I let that go too early. Ah, uh, it's so nice to get experience points again. Hmm, okay, cool. That's reasonably useful. Star piece, nice. Chili piranha. Several chili piranhas. Oh, really? Uh. All right. Oh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was meant to be Goombella. No, not swap. I want that swap. There we go. So, what's these things deal? That's a frost piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its biting attack sometimes freezes us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks too, so use them as well. Fair enough. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, did I actually throw it? Uh, come on. Did I throw away the fire part? I did not. Eh, I gotta come back through here, so I'll use that. Uh, for now... Just seems... Ah, whatever. Gotta have my fun where I can. Ow. Ow. Timing's off. It's really too bad that even though they're weak to fire attacks, the lingering flame doesn't do more damage, so... You know, it always does one, so why couldn't it do two to things that were uh, weak to fire? That'd be that could be fun for me, not the enemy. Really? And at a time where I can't even get Bobbery out? Seriously? Well, at least you let me hit him. That's not nice. That is so not nice. And then there's two of the uh, piranhas on this screen, if memory serves. Very fun to deal with. Okay. Thanks for the damp pants and the cold weather. It's just the best. Uh, yeah. Get this over with. Noise. It's... Oh, there's one. There's two. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell because the first one was starting to dart away, but there is absolutely two piranhas on the screen. Uh, switch out. You do not do enough damage to take one out immediately, so 
after. You cannot take one out. I'm out of flowers. Well, neither of us could do anything special if we wanted to. I might need to invest in getting more flower points instead of badge points, which feels bad. Feels very bad. I can't even hammer throw on the one in the air. Uh, this could be a bit of an issue. Oh boy. Dodge, please. Oh, lucky. Okay, lucky. Now, float down. Yes. Okay, I can hurt you. Um, you know what? Just because I don't get to do it very often, let's sweet feast. Probably gonna hit a level up before it would be necessary to do this, but... I don't get to show off these powers enough. I know that there's a stinker mushroom. Woo -hoo -hoo! Missed them both, for once. Not that I think it really would have affected us too much, but it's nice to do. Really? Can you do that? Just to be difficult? Fine. Yeah, see, I think normally she does three damage, even in her single powered up form, so the fact that she was able to do uh, four is significant for her. Nice. And really what doing the Sweet Feast thing gave me an excuse is it makes it so that doing all of the fancy moves actually has a small amount of purpose. And it doesn't just make me look like uh, I'm padding out the runtime by using the fancy stuff over and over and over again. Uh, okay. And I want to do this because I'm crazy. Nice. Nice. Oh, so close. So close to the trifecta. Uh, just gonna hammer throw this guy. Yeah, and not that I could have dodged with her anyway. This guy uh, gets rid of himself, and then I get enough experience for a level up, and doing the Sweet Feast was basically for naught. Yeah, FP's a good idea. Nope. <laughs> Must be batch points. Must always be batch points. Ooh! And I went up a, uh, a rank in terms of my standing. Awesome. Uh, let's get into town and then I will equip the badge. Get to take a look at what this place is like. Far outpost. So, this is Far Outpost? Where do you think they keep that cannon of theirs? Well, only one way to find out. Uh, let's get started talking to the villagers. Wait, badges, 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 badges. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. I was going to equip... Start, there we go. Yeah, where, oh, where could they be hiding that cannon? Hey, Vivian, I know you don't take steps, but does the ground feel weird to you here? Like, it's only a small amount of soil over a, some kind of a metallic opening. I don't know, it just seems kind of hollow. Well, whatever. Final shines! <clears throat> Final shines right in the game! Yay! Now I can go and power up all of my partners to maximum. Uh, yeah, because you're rank one, you're rank two, you're rank nothing, and you're rank one. So that's one, two, three, four, 
times three is 12. So everyone can get to max level on shine sprites off of those 12. So I have officially found every shine sprite in the game. Yay. Anyway, uh, let's talk to this guy. Duh. What business do you have here? What? A cannon? No such thing is here. Ahem. <clears throat> what? But we heard there was definitely a cannon. And... What do you want me to say? We do not have one. Hmm. I... I honestly think that this bit is clever. What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Now listen here. You're an... You're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Old boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush! You call yourself a bob -omb. I spit at you! You know rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non bob -omb. No mention. We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm... Uh, world could end. Um... Well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain... Circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Gold Bob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to far away places policy. Once he got rich, he left bus he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing a job that he took cannon key and left. Old Bob and General White? Da, ah, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well then. We can't give up now, old boy. Mario, let's find those two. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Yeah, so... Bobbery... is familiar with it, so... I guess they kind of give you the hint that uh, one of your, your your partners are going to be taking uh, part in the conversation that you're having with him. So it leads you on that direction of... Oh, I hate that part. All the enemies respawn every time you go through that area. It sucks. But, uh, yeah. So it... It's just a little bit of uh, keeping the player paying attention to what's going on. It's nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, the lucky day badge is in the pit. That's right. Oh. Swap, or I would like to swap partners. And let's get Bobbery out. Uh, I can't avoid another round of attacks no matter what I do. Well, minimize the amount of attacks I have to go through. Bobbery is stinking resilient. So I will always enjoy having him on my side. There we go. Nice. And we can already see some of the diminishing returns that uh, fighting these guys has on the experience gain. <sighs> Nope, come on. There we go. Oh, 
but yeah, we have officially started the insane fetch quest of having to go out to all of the locations that we were previously at, or not all, uh, I shouldn't say all, but a good portion of the uh, locations that we have previously been to and having to talk to the people there in order to find out where a certain white bob -omb has been traveling to. Uh, and I know that in this playthrough, I made a stake about noticing him in his first location, uh, but like some of the other characters, like the little, the three Toad sisters, um, he will show up in other locations occasionally uh, as you're going through, so it's, it can be even a little confusing where to start this journey that you're going on, uh, let alone actually confronting the guy. But it is fairly important, I will say, to combine the two actions of finding him plus uh, talking to Gold Bob. Because if you do not talk to Gold Bob, uh, you will have to take this track again and go out or go through this section after finding General White, who turns out just goes home. Okay. No. Oh. Should have just hammered. Come on, come down to. Oh, making me waste FP again. Although, I just. I guess I just got it all back. Yay for lucky start. Very useful badge. And. I mean, combining lucky start with something like Flower Fighter is also. super helpful. Um. The. Because I think. Flower Finder and Heart Finder guarantee that you find at least one of each of their respective items after a battle, which is huge. Um, especially when you start going down the Pit of 100 Trials, because uh, some of those later fights especially, you're going to be going through FP in order to try and keep up with the enemies, but with no other way of replenishing it other than items, it can be scary to try and get down into the deepest floors of that place. Um, so, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's go power up partners first. Because I'm feeling in that kind of a mood. Go meet our friend Merlin for the last time. Oh, yeah. Why am I walking slowly? I've got someone to do that for me. Oh, and we can check out the graffiti corner, too. Well, no. We don't need to check out the graffiti corner. Alright. Hey, Merlin. Uh, Flurry first. Yes, please power up my partner. Shazibi! Shazubi! Reveal the universe to your mind! Ah, uh, busy work. Or up another one, Vivian. Yes, please. Not that, again, I ever intend to use her in battle. She does have one relatively powerful technique, but you have to know how to use it properly. Um, she is able to bring Mario into uh, basically that shadow space during battle, and that can be useful, especially in the final 
boss encounter and um, the encounter with the character at the bottom of the pit of 100 trials because they both have attacks that can do something like 10 to 13 or 15 damage in one hit. Uh, the trick is that she's guaranteed to skip over one of Mario's turns. Now, the better way of doing it, in my opinion, is to have her be in the front slot when you do it so that she skips over the Mario turn on the same time as she's going into the ground instead of doing it the other way where she skips Mario's turn coming back out because the turn that she comes back out, it skips her turn too. So if Mario's in the first position, uh, he gets to attack and then she pulls them both into the ground, which is all well and good. Uh, but then once they, the enemy gets their turn and they completely whiff on everything, which is great. It's a wonderful ability to have, but the turn after or the start of Mario's turn after you've been pulled into the void is a bit of an issue because she doesn't get to act, but Mario's turn was skipped, so he also doesn't get to act on that turn that you come out, so the enemy basically gets a second free shot at you, whereas in the other orientation, where Mario doesn't get to act on the same turn as she pulls him into the ground, uh, Mario will get to act after they both come back out, so that you're not seemingly missing out on two total rounds of damage. It's... it's complicated. Anyway. Huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here a while ago, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. But wait, hang on a second. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. Uh, he was either going there or not going there. Yeah, real helpful. Uh... And that brings me on to my tangent about this quest that is just as annoying as some of the other stuff, where not only do you have to go through and talk to the right NPC in whatever area that you're going to, but um, you you have to decipher their cryptic clue about where you need to go next. And it's all well and good for some of the places because you've got the fast travel system underground where, hey, I just went from Petalburg to uh, Keel Hall Key in, what is it, two, three transitions? Um, I get to talk to this guy. General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off, right quick. He said he was going to an arena or something. And then we get to the big issue that we have, that we run into, where, okay, cool. I had this awesome fast travel pipe that could bring me to anywhere, or any of those four destinations in the underground. Uh, ooh. I have a weird idea of mixing things. Um. So yeah, I can go to basically anywhere else in the underground that I want to go to using this method. But then you send me to Glitzville, where no matter where I start my journey from is five to seven screens away. So I have to either come back all the way up through the sewers that I had just gone through or I have to um, take the ship back, which is its own extraordinarily slow journey, making it back uh, to here. Um, and I think I'm still going to make it relatively longer than it needs to be, but it might be slightly more streamlined. Anyway, let's talk to Old Bob. 
Good day to you, Gonzales. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon far outpost to save the world? Hmm, well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then, I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? uh, yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday, and just between us, I only stopped it because the wife said that she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, uh, just how much would you be pay, if I may ask? So I go from 811 to nothing. What? Uh, you'd pay every coin you own? All of them? Uh, you are... really? So, really? Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Uh, staggered, actually. You know, that means you'll be left with zero coins, with uh, absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yeah, that's why I bought my mushrooms early. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Can you stop asking me questions and just take the points? I can really take them all. Really. You won't say, just kidding, later on. Or uh, any sort of tomfoolery like that. Well, all right then. Bye-bye. Hmm, well... You've certainly shown me something, sir. So, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Yay! Gold Bob Guide? Why wouldn't it be like a contract? It's a, uh, the user's manual? The, why? What? I don't understand why the user's manual is the thing that he took with him. I would imagine that it would be some kind of like a certificate of... Uh, like, I want to call it a contract, but that's not the thing that it actually would be. It would say some kind of, like, gubernatorial con er, permission form. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. Woohoo, Gold Bob Guide. Oh, uh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. Uh, how could I take your money? <laughs> uh, it is a shame, I suppose, but I'll return your money. Thank you. Oh, 822. <laughs> now, soldier on, my boy. Okay, enough with the email. Oh, but yeah, so... I'm doing the crazy thing of combining the trip here with the trip to Glitzville so that I end up on that same shared screen because the train station is also the same area as the blimp platform. And luckily with this train ride, you only really need to sleep twice and uh, go back into the train here. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Okay, maybe this does take longer, but I don't know. I was trying to be clever. I can't... Can't win them all. Didn't realize just how many actual cutscenes there were. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. Thank you for your patience now arriving at Riverside Station. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Let me back in. Let's go! What, no all aboard? Why let's go? Feels like a weird switch. Okay. One more sleep. Well, I guess the one, th uh, one nice thing about this is I am getting a 
HP, FP refill for everybody. So, guaranteed. That's nice. Okay, bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers, we will soon arrive at our final destination, Rogueport. Thank goodness. Come on now. Yeah, too many cutscenes. I was trying to avoid screen transitions, not cause them. Alright, so now. Yes, I would like to go to Blitzville. Uh, go see our guy who took a vacation in the sky for some reason. Just decided, yeah, let's go see some fighting. Heal Hulk key is too boring. Alright, come on. Too many screen transitions. There is the small amount of intrigue that exists for, oh yeah, take a look at all of the locations that we've been to before, all of these wonderful sights and sounds of uh, things, and maybe, like, if you hadn't gotten that shine sprite at this point, you could actually go over there and get it, because, hey, um, you've got the high jump, so you don't need the block underneath, but I didn't have that problem, so for General White, Oh, you must mean that white bob huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. What's with the or nots? How many people are unsure of where this guy is going? Alright. So now after that short interlude, which you have to realize that he was going to the watering hole and not say, go talk to Jolene. Because if you go talk to Jolene, she goes through the whole process of, oh my word, you were restarting your career. Uh, we're gonna have to, you know, get you started up again and do the whole going to Glitzville, or, you know, starting from the bottom, going up to the top again, if you want, just for the opportunity to be in the chance room, which is a complete HP, FP, and star point recovery. Not that it's all that necessary, especially given how far away it all is compared to where the final boss area would be. Heck! If you don't know about one of the rooms in the moon, you can't even get out of there until after uh, you've gone away. Of course, now that we've taken that detour to Glitzville, we gotta go right back down into the sewers, and uh, luckily one of the pipes does lead directly to the tree, but if you have not figured out the fast travel system, then you're stuck going to, uh, uh, using the area that's just outside the Thousand Year Door in order to go to, uh, the woods. And still have to go through screen transitions, which have enemies on them, which will try and fight you. Uh. Alright. Now, I think we gotta talk to this guy. Welcome to the Great Tree! Eh? General White? Yeah, he's an old bomb -omb with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Hmm. Uh, okay. So now that we've done that, uh, there is no quote-unquote fast travel to... Uh, that area that Darkly used to live in that's named for whatever reason escapes me. Uh, the most annoying thing is that, as far as I'm aware, the only way to get into the pipe to that area is to get out of the sewer, go back into the sewer, and then make the 
uh, the Yoshi travel over to the pipe. Luckily, I think it's the last stop on this little mission of ours. Uh, basically pinned everywhere else. Let's see. Petal Meadows. Tree. Then... Glitzville. Uh... Twilight Town. Uh... We also had to go back to... The High Flute and Rich place. Uh... Yeah, I think it's uh, Keelhaul Key. Pretty sure every location that we've ever been to previously. Also, again, you have to figure out who the right person to talk to is. This guy is not right outside the pipe. He's not the elder. Uh, he's just some random dude on the street who says, Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bob -omb, right? Uh, he was here until recently. What? Where did he go? What am I, his secretary? You look tired, I know that. And from that, you have to infer <sighs> that General White being tired means that he went back home. Ugh. I'm just gonna take a quick look at the partners because that's my way of remembering the stages of the game. Okay, so... We didn't have to do the rogue port, but, you know, rogue port's the hub, so in order to get to anywhere else, we gotta go back here anyway. Uh, we went to Petalburg, that was the first stop. We went to the Great Boggly Tree, that was the stop for Twilight Town. Went to Glitzville, uh, we went, we were just in Twilight Town, we went to Keelhaul Key, and we had to go to Poshley Heights in order to, uh, talk to the other dude. So yeah, we had to go to literally every major area in the game that we had been to previously in order to fulfill the entirety of these two partial quest lines. And not only that, but we still gotta go back and actually activate the stinking cannon. We have to make it past these two screens. I know I'm passing enemies and normally I don't, but these thing the <laughs> These guys just annoy me. Oh, and I got dodgy too. Great. All right, well, let's use this because it's fun. You know what? Let's go crazy. Uh, let's stampede. Have at him, Yoshi's. Go, my children. Yeah, that actually does a significant amount of damage. Not of guess. Alright, now carefully collect coins while also dodging piranhas. Ugh. I hate those things. I hate those things with a passion. Okay, seriously, enough with the emails. Like, I get it. I got an email. You don't need to stop me in my tracks every time that happens. Alright. And then he's in this house. Yes. Oh, look. Sleeping on the job, huh? He seems to be asleep. Wake him up? Sure. He's still asleep. Try again? Uh, get used to this. He's still sound asleep. Try again? So not only do you make me go on the crazy fetch quest of going to all of the major areas that I've been to before, but you have the guy be asleep and I have to try many times to wake him up. And you make fun of me in the process. Just great. That's such a fun thing to do for your players. And if I'm not mistaken, this dialogue tree, if you had stopped at any point during that to try a different tactic, you have to start at the beginning again. So maybe you thought after maybe the fourth time or so that, hmm, I actually could be doing part of this wrong. I should try something else, like getting on the bed and hitting him with the hammer. 
no, you were doing it right. It's just not giving you any good indications that that's actually the thing that's going right. Anyway. What, what? Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. What? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer, even. But you were jumping on me. You've lost your challenge several times. But, uh, I can see your hammer. It's a fine hammer. But what? I have been looking everywhere for you. And you have the gall to say that if we could have just called this guy on the phone. Because those definitely existed. We have email in this game. Wireless email. We have the equivalent of a Blackberry that we could have called this guy on at any point. If the mayor had just given us his number and we wouldn't have had to go through any of that because we could have just said, hey, stand still. I'm coming to you. You do not need to go anywhere or heck, even just come home. This is Mario. We need to discuss the operation of the stinking cannon. Because we looking for him, he was looking for us. But all it takes is one solidly written email to not have to deal with any of this. Infuriating. Why? Well, to begin to bring that cannon back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the Roport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. What? You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip, hip, hurrah! That fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving, hot hot! Didn't even open his do own door. Wow. Impressive. Okay. And with that, we've got a cannon to fire. So, cannon is back online. Well, I could just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys to the to moon. Haha! Oh. -ha. We've done it, old boy. Now, you follow me. You come this way. All right. Here we go. Big things. Big things about to happen. You know, I didn't mention it, so I'm actually going to go back and uh, say a little something. I know for certain the first time I saw this game, it's like, you got the cannon statue, and I can't believe I didn't bring it up earlier, but, like, there is no cannon. Look behind you. Hey, there's a cannon. Uh, but certainly not a cannon that could get you anywhere. And I don't know if it was just my child mind thinking, oh yeah, I'm just gonna roll up into tube mode and try and jump into this slot. You know, where the plaque is for this cannon. That's the thing to do. Like, that'll be how I get loaded into this thing. No! <laughs> oh, it is so much more extravagant than that. Uh, get ready. Now, you stand here. Okay. Uh-oh. General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? What? Leave it to me. Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Oh, hup, hut, boom. Now, positions, everyone. Yes, sir. Here we go. It's a great musical transition, too, when we get into uh, doing everything. Excellent 80s-looking command center. Bring guidance, guidance system online. Bringing system online. 
System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Ladies, you must be evacuated. This is not for your eyes. Open out the hatch. Yeah. So the outer hatch. It's uh, quite a bit bigger than I was anticipating. Open inner shutter. Better one, open. Two, three, four. Elevate on my mark. Nice little electronic guidelines. Oh boy. Now that's a cannon. <laughs> Y'all, that's a cannon to be proud of. Exciting! Target is the moon. Direction, 75.38. Elevation, 54.66. Range, uh, 389,603. That must be in kilometers, I want to say. Wind speed, 1.08. Correct direction, 3.03. .03. Correct elevation, negative 2.39. That was way more than 2 and 3 degrees. Target locked. Chamber hatch, open. You gotta love that the propellant they use. Now, everyone in. Yup. The propellant is bob-ombs. In the shape of a bob-omb. <laughs> Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here, boom. Stop pushing, Bazoom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot, Bazoom. It's tight in here, boom. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big boom cannon. Fire! Bam! And Mario died from whiplash as he was accelerated to uh, exit velocity of the planet in... What is that? Less than half a second? I can't even begin to say how utterly dead you would be from all of this travel. Like, even just the takeoff kills you, the launch kill, or the the speeds achieved kill you, the being in no atmosphere kills you, and finally the landing kills you. Like, you would not even be paced by the time that you made it this far, even if you had a pressurized suit, which Mario does not. To accelerate is essentially a bullet or a projectile out of a cannon would kill so fast. There's a reason we use relatively slow-moving rockets by comparison. If we want something to survive the trip, we have to move it more slowly than that. Yeah, we still get up to enough speed to put something like seven to eight additional gravities on the people inside the rocket, but that is nothing compared to the speed that Mario and company just traveled at. Anyway, enough of the physics. Let's get back to our game. Where they're still making fun of physics, but anyway. Well, that was a rather bumpy trip, what what? Who would have guessed I'd get to do such a thing? Well, old boy, we're really on the moon by Crabbery. Crabbery? 
So what say you? Shall we find that last crystal star and save Peach? Mm. By all means. And here we are. The moon. And I think this is as good of a stopping place as any for this time. Uh, next time, join me as we make our raid on the x Not base. Uh, but until then, we've got most of the backtracking out of the way. Uh, and Philemon, out. <laughs>